Hi guys, it's Emily here. I've had a handful of people ask me how I draw dragons. So I figured I'd make this little video going over my techniques and see if that helps you guys. So yeah, here we go. So normally the first thing I do is I block out the outline using just simple circles, rounded squares, stuff like that. Uh, on this one, I used a raptor, a velociraptor uh, picture as my pose reference. But before I decided to do that, I was trying to sketch out a pose myself. But so typically, as you see, I normally go with circles and very soft rounded lines to figure out the posing that I want. Um, I prefer sketching in red because it helps me, uh, it helps when I outline to be able to see where all the essential parts of the sketch are and then go from there. So as you can see, I've got the very rounded uh, shapes to help figure out the way that the legs are going to go. Uh, make sure when you draw, even if it is, you know, a mythical creature, you still got to remember the aspects of uh, anatomy. So you got to pay attention to where the anatomy is going to end up. You know, how the back of the leg is, it's going to be curved, it's going to have digits, it needs to be believable, even if it is a mythical creature. So, and pay attention to where the folds of the body are, like in the creases of the elbow, if the limb is folded, you gotta pay attention to just the creases. So typically for me I'll actually look at my own arm like if I want to figure out where how the crease in a bent arm is going to look um pay attention to the way the elbow juts out a little bit or the knee you know just simple things like that that you don't really think about but it's still it's still going to happen even if it's a mythical creature it still needs to have that proper anatomy uh it still needs to be slightly believable. So it, I noticed it skipped up my outline and some of the coloring, but after I get the outline done, I will go through and put down the block, the base colors. So uh, this one's just a nice gray and I'll highlight just the base color. And I'm sorry. <clears throat> and I will uh, do just cell shading because I'm more comfortable with that. With the cell shading, I use a darker shade of the base color because I feel it looks a little better than just doing uh, black shading. I mean, black shading works for certain ones, but I prefer normally to do a darker tone for my shading. I'll usually do them at a 50% opacity and it really makes it pop. You gotta also remember when you have shading, you also need to remember that they're also, well, I just said also multiple times there. You gotta remember that there's going to be highlights as well. So you gotta add those in, in the places where it makes sense. Uh, Pay attention to the way the shading sits, like where the horns are, if there's going to be a shadow on the feathers behind the horns, or the way that the limbs, the arm goes over the body, you gotta pay attention to where the shading sits for that. And especially on wings, depending on where your lighting is coming from, you want to have a pretty large shadow if there's a wing hanging over. 
you want to have a large shadow on the underside of the wing to create that effect. Um, let's see. After I do that, I prefer to uh, create a colored outline. But recently I've been doing only like a half colored and half black outline where it's still black on the very outer edges of the outline, but everything on the inside is colored. Uh, I realized as I was going through that I didn't like the way that the glow looked on the hands and feet. So I erased the glow around the outside because it looked bad when I went around and did the white outline that I decided to add. So I got rid of that glow because it just didn't look quite right. I edited it, I adjusted the way that it was so it looked a little better. But yeah, it's pretty simple and I can't wait to see if you guys are able to, I can't wait to see if this helped you guys. So yeah, thank you.